Why? But why would he do that? You haven't answered the question. Let's look at Isaiah 53, 10. In the NASB, which is a more literal translation, and we see it right here, but the Lord was pleased to crush him, putting him to grief. If he, Jesus, would render himself as a guilt offering, he would see his offspring, the church, and he would prolong his days, the resurrection, and the good pleasure of the Lord will prosper in his hands. What is this pleasure? What is this delight of the Lord? What is this, this, this pleasure, this joy that will prosper in Jesus' hands? Don't you see what it is, who it is? It's you. You are the delight of the Lord. You are the joy of the Lord. Jesus died for sin because he loves you. Don't you see that? Have you forgotten? For God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that those who believe in him might not perish but have eternal life. Don't you see the reason was you? God wanted to bring you back home. It was always the father's plan. He lost his children. He wanted to bring them back home. He had to testify to the truth that we strayed and we needed a savior and we needed a ransom to pay for the wrath of God because Jesus, because God is holy and righteous and to be with him, we need to be perfect. And so in Christ, we are clothed with righteousness and we are welcomed back home. Don't you see? You're the reason. You're the reason.